नमस्ते जय शिवाय होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस कोविड टाइम्स एंड कीपिंग योर सेल्फ सेफ एंड हियर आई एम मेकिंग वीडियोज अगेन आफ्टर अ लॉन्ग टाइम आई वॉज बिजी विद सो मेनी अदर थिंग्स नाउ आई गॉट टाइम सो आई थॉट एंड लॉट ऑफ पीपल आस्ट लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन इन लास्ट सिक्स मंथ्स सो आई हैव होल लॉट ऑफ क्वेश्चन टू आंसर अगेन एंड आई स्टार्ट मेकिंग रेगुलरली पोस्टिंग दीज वीडियोज सो यू गाइज कैन अंडरस्टैंड डिफरेंट थिंग्स डिफरेंट मैटर्स सो टूडेज क्वेश्चन दैट जस्ट रिसेंटली केम इज फ्रॉम समबडी हु हैज स्टार्टेड actually with savikalp samadhis so savikalp samadhis are already happening and that person is progressing towards nirvikalpa now so still because mind is still seen as a hindrance as an obstacle so the question was what actually burns the last remaining i me mine what burns it finally so this is how the question should be but the actual thing was the person was asking will i ever be able to attain moksha will i be ever able to attain uh, nirvikalpa samadhi will i ever get rid of all my mental nonsense and the jargon and this and that and how will i finally the question was how will i finally land into nirvikalpa so see the last thing the only thing that is pending is at that stage so this does not apply to lot of other people so this is not a generic application or generic question or or a generic answer for it no it's a very special question very specific question to only those who are trying to land from savikalpa samadhi to nirvikalpa samadhi okay so what is it what is that one thing that makes you jump into unknown what is it there is no technique about it there is no you know step by step program or step by step you follow this and you will get there no there is no such thing so the last stage in other words if you have to understand that how to one you know pursue their journey after they have reached the agya so from agya chakra to above to sahasrara what is it that makes it happen there is no step by step program or you know instructions to follow no guru ever can teach you how to go there how do you go about it no nothing works what is it that burns the last piece of asmita that is hanging the identities asmita means identities so the last piece of asmita hanging into your agya chakra attached to your agya chakra how do you dissolve that last i me mine whatever it is the last pending thing so the answer to that is the only thing that you would die for the only thing that you would take a unknown jump for is nothing but love and i am not talking about that emotional love or normal ordinary human attachment kind of a love no i'm talking about acute bhakti acute unquestionable undoubted kind of bhakti devotion that comes from within whenever a bhakti bhakta a person who is a devotee someone who is experiencing that serious intense dev- devotion when such a person burns into the fire of bhakti into that fire of longing that is when the last remaining i me mine is burned and that is when one is ready to take jump into unknown no other thing does that nothing else can propel you forward until unless you have that very very intense devotion longing and bhakti ego will always stand up if it is not for love and that you can see even in normal circumstances in life only on the name of love you will do some things 
where you will pull down your ego which you will melt your ego you will put your ego aside if it is for love pure love right you do that for your children for your parents for your lover for your spouse for your brother sisters right only on the name of love you will put your ego aside so ego finally dies when you put it aside on the name of love for that parmatma on the name of love for that divine god whatever you want to call him that's when a person lands from savikalpa samadhi to nirvikalpa samadhi that is the only thing that makes us jump into the unknown love is the only fire for which we die devotion is the only thing for which that last remaining i me mine dies and is ready ready to die nothing else you are ever ready to die for you cannot that is why that last stage is nothing right before enlightenment the stage is nothing but really 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 serious intense bhakti where you stop even questioning which vasana which chitvratti is playing right now what is doing what is happening when i will be enlightened what will happen to me and whether i attain moksha in this lifetime or not no such nonsense questions happen and to understand it in simple way a lot of times in our childhood our mother was taking us from point a to point b and the mother as a child mother was holding our hand right and we felt so secure we felt so confident about it that we didn't dare even question where are we going we did not want to question where uh, how long it will take no we just went on walking with the mother we were happy we were satisfied we were we felt safe secure confident that mother was holding our hand similar kind of faith needs to happen on that parmatma on that god divine that you call similar kind of faith needs to happen now you will say that mother was visible to you parmatma is not but then it's the journey into the unknown not to the known right <laughs> that which is unknown will become known to you after some time and it will become known in order to make any unknown into a known you have to go into it right if you want to know what is inside this dark room you have to enter the dark room so you have need to have that much of faith so it's not that all the questions in the end go away it's just that the questioner does not exist anymore the one who was questioning continuously my journey my vasanas my mind my emotion my body my needs my this my that my moksha that questioner is no longer there those of you who have experienced intensity highest in- intensity of human love in this lifetime they will also understand that in that love they did not exist their separate identity did not exist either it it was always and always just about the love just about the lover right but in this intense intensity bhakta does not exist in the similar way in this intense devotion bhakta or the devotee does not exist only bhakti remains the fire of bhakti burning you day and night day and night day and night you end up crying you cry so much because that longing burns you like anything else the intensity of it is like anything else there's no comparison there's no comparable to it so that is how you jump into unknown and that is why it is said that the last stage right before you become a gyani and you attain the gyana right before when your buddhi becomes buddha the final stage is intense burning in bhakti so i hope this helps and this helps you understand namaste jai shivaya